Well, the state's emergency management office is on standby to dispatch resources where needed, and it's not just in Austin. And while the storm not as severe as that big winter storm last February, we wanted to look at what Austin leaders did to prepare for another one if it did come that way and what went wrong last year. Nabil Ramana is in the newsroom with a look at the changes made citywide. Good morning, Nabil. Good morning. I always have to be ready for winter weather. Now. They've sprayed brine solution on bridges and elevated parts of major roads to prevent them from icing over street bridge operation crews with Austin Public Works prepped trucks on Wednesday and will proactively be monitoring roads beginning today. Now, first responders are pleading with drivers to be mindful if they're out on the roads. Austin Travis County EMS says if you do get in a crash on an icy stretch, you should always stay inside your car until emergency crews or trucks can get to you. And after last year's winter storm, Austin Travis County EMS, well, they're preparing as well. They got boxes full of winter supplies. Right now, there's no uh, plans for adding additional staff. Uh, we'll continue to monitor the weather just like everyone else here and see how what conditions are and we'll make adjustments as as needed. Of Austin's Department of Emergency Management is responsible for all phases of community disaster from response to recovery, but also planning and being proactive to make sure people stay safe when danger arises, just like the potential for today. And that's why the department has been distributing supplies to recreation centers across Austin to prepare them to serve as shelters if needed. The 12 locations have supplies which include cots, blankets, pillows, water, food, and many other essential items. All of these supplies will remain in place through the winter and they'll be activated when needed. At this time, none so far. All right, Nabil Ramana for us. Thank you, Nabil. We're also curious about electricity demand. ERCOT, the state's grid operator, says it is ready to handle today's and tomorrow's electricity demand. It is expecting to make today's demand to be at 62 gigawatts. That is more than they estimated they were going to need earlier this week. Now, during the February freeze last year, demand hit 74. So for context, a gigawatt can power about 750,000 homes.